Good evening, everybody. Kirk Sue will play its last regular season home game tomorrow as the Tigers host Trenton. Forget about the pass happy spread. It'll be old fashioned smash mouth football. Kirk Sue likes to run to the outside while Trenton takes it up the middle. And he runs that veer in the, in the G dive uh, very well. And uh, they're fundamentally sound. We're going to have to play good football. You done feel will be rocking tomorrow in Macon. will host Brookfield. Basically, there's a lot at stake. And it's like starting the playoffs two weeks early. Pretty much. I mean, you're playing for certainly a district seed and home football games. And you want to improve your lot as much as you possibly can. Milan will host North Shelby. The key for the Wildcat defense will be to stop a pair of talented playmakers. They've been able to score points. Um, they have a couple good backs that we've got to really contain, and we've got to really keep an eye on them. Davis County will host PCM Monroe in the last two weeks. The Mustangs have won by 22 points and lost by 45. So after a big loss, what has Davis County been working on? Just trying to improve every day and just trying to do some of the little things and because uh, some of the little things is what kind of bit us. And I think we did a good job of making progress on that and uh, you're never going to be perfect at it. And so that's something we can always strive to do is get better at some of those little things. Let's hit the links. Macon's Cassie Martin is headed to the state golf tournament. Her game is awesome off the tee is the key length or accuracy. Both. I can get a lot of distance and I can usually get it straight down the middle if I need to. you intimidate people with your length? Uh, sometimes. They say that I can usually outdrive them, but I don't know if I really intimidate them that much. The Kirksville girls will be going to state as a team, but individually they will not change a thing. My goal is just to play it like another round of golf. I mean, you put a lot of pressure on yourself, it's going to really affect how you, you know, perform. So I'm just going to go out there and play like I'm playing at home. I think it'd be cool to maybe place, but to do my best would be good. Maybe shoot my best round. The Truman State Volleyball team has won eight matches in a row, and they host Missouri S&T Friday night. It's a team that runs their hitters out of different spots. And one of the things we're very good at this year so far has been keeping people out of system. And that's one way that you slow down an offense like that is don't allow them to pass well, be aggressive on your serves, and really make their offense one-dimensional. 